because of these 4V titanium series, they have windows in the front. They're quite nice, but they leak. And ours is leaked, wrecked our little foam cushion thing, and it went in for repair, and we got it the first night that we got rain, it leaked. So long story short it is, I just went up there, did a bunch of cleaning, it leaks from the very top, and it makes sense that it probably only leaks from the top because otherwise it just kind of runs down and comes out. So gravity takes over. But they attempted to kind of fix it and they created a bit of a valley in there and I could see where it's probably leaking. But long story short is that material they use is crappy stuff. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see that very well or not, but this is where I think they did a bit of a repair in there and they created kind of a valley through here. So I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but I'm going to use again, some Cicaflex 1A, it's a construction sealant. I'm gonna use that in there to try to seal it up. That stuff is so flexible and works so great. We use it in construction all the time. Uh, expensive product, but works well. I'm gonna try that, I'm gonna fill that gap up there. That was just orange electrical tape up there that um, works really good like masking tape. And that way once I, the caulking has sealed and dried, it'll come off nice and so just for a bit of a protection in case I get a little sloppy. So I got a nice layer of silicone. It looks a little globby in there, but once I remove that vinyl electrical tape, it'll be good. So a nice channel. The water should just simply run out of there. I think it should look good. Once this stuff dries, so I'll peel off the orange tape and I'll show you what it looks like when we're all done. And the problem is solved. So we have purchased a roller blind, a roller shade, to be able to put in that balance our cushion from our window being leaking all the time. The cushion got destroyed. So we decided to go with a roller balance. It's gonna kind of hook over the bottom edge. So we will put that up. So one of the things that really bothered us is the way they installed the window. They used that black windshield kind of stuff from this front windshield and they made a heck of a mess. So I just grabbed a trusty Ofa knife and I started taking it off here. So I will continue to clean that edge up because it looks terrible, not nice work. So I spent a little bit of time, I cleaned up most of that. It could get a lot better and I will probably make it better, but it um, doesn't look like it's been done by a 10 year old. So that's parts good. So we bought a blind from Amazon, of course it's from Amazon, and it just tucks neatly into the balance here. Um, ORV has these pretty wood balances and it just tucks in neatly underneath and it simply pulls down. We didn't have to do side brackets or anything to hold it flat. It just tucks down in between the mattress and the bed and it's great. It offers full privacy to release it. Typical roller blind, it just comes back up to the shade. It does not offer insulation value and it, that is still a problem with these front windshields. In the colder weather, the cold air that comes off of the window and blows onto your head and your shoulders um, can be quite uncomfortable. So we do need to still find a solution as far as for the cold weather before we head south because every fall we're going to encounter this. But yeah, the blind is fantastic. I'm really happy with it. Uh, much nicer than the foam cushion that was getting moldy and disgusting from all the moisture in the window. Very happy.